Yep. So getting back to the crypto, a lot of people are confused by cryptocurrency. It's just currency. Like just imagine that as if it was a dollar. The dollar rises every day and it drops every day. You just don't pay attention to the numbers or you don't watch CNBC to look at, you know, where the dollar's at, whatever the case, the U.S. dollar then drops, whatever. Do you care, honestly, when that happens? No, because, you know, no, you can just take attention. that dollar, go to the store and still buy what you want to buy, right? Mm -hmm. So the problem with crypto is that everybody focus on the, the intricate details like that. And that's where you get confused because the dollar will confuse you, too, if you sat there and can, you focus on that. Just know that it's another piece of currency like gold would be, right? Or anything that has value or that people trust to say, okay, that's worth something. See, I knew it was real when Banks was mad. When Banks yeah. was getting upset about it, I was like, oh, I'm in. Because they want to control currency all over the globe. All over the and globe. They're the, all they're doing is playing the middleman. And yeah. I was like, because I don't understand it. I just knew that it enabled people to do dealings 100%. without a bank. Yep. So I was like, I'm fucking with this. I'm in and more people are going to be in because people are tired of paying bank fees or and, figuring out how to move money around the globe. And, and, and taxes and all this other stuff. This. So I'm in. The difference now, just imagine if you went to another country, right? And you traded your dollars in. For their dollar, right? It's just another form of currency, correct? So now look at cryptocurrency the same way as another form of currency. So if you have a U.S. dollar and you decide to trade it in for a cryptocurrency, whatever that cryptocurrency is worth is what that value you get back for your dollar. Mm -hmm. No different from if I go to London right now and I trade in my dollar for pounds. Whatever that pound is worth is what I get back for my dollar. So look at crypto just like that. Don't look at it like... Uh, you know, it's, it's digital, it's on these platforms, it's on Ethereum, it's on... Don't look at none of that, because none of that means nothing at the end of the day. It's about what the value is of that currency compared to where you have in your dollar and how much that's worth. So if the currency is down, okay, cool. Buy into it now, because when it raises back up, you Pay already money. in. And then your dollar now, or whatever your, your worth of what that value was now, raises to the top. And then you can always cash it back in for real dollars, or you can leave it as a cryptocurrency. The only difference is you can actually buy things with it. I saw my first Bitcoin ATM the other day. I saw one, too. There's one on the, on the corner. Yeah. So you can, get, you can get cash out of your Bitcoin so, right, account? So one oh, yeah. Bitcoin right now is worth $10,000. So how would you get out money from a machine? You would go there and you would be able to take out from your ten thousand dollars. Or you take out got, something from it. Like okay. from it. Or you yeah. can take it all out. It's up to or you. you can take it all out. But probably not from that ATM machine. Right, that's what I was guessing. That's a lot for an ATM. Well, you actually can because it's digital. It's a, it's just in a wallet. Do people as right, rich as you facts. do you people as rich as Akon go to an ATM? Is that still a thing? Or someone like delivers your money in a suitcase? Well now there's no reason to go to ATM when you got Cash App, you got uh, Apple Pay, you got all these so You don't move with a lot of cash. That's a good move. No, I don't no cash. I don't remember back then. I, I can't, day I can't remember the last time I had much, dollars in my pocket. Yo, I never have money. You used never. To, never. You probably used to have a wad on you all the time too. <laughs> back in the day, book bag. I had a book bag, little, bag had cash, little book bag with just cash in it. Yep. Isn't that interesting? Because, like, I always, growing up near rich people but not being rich, I always noticed that rich people always were the biggest bums ever. Never had money on them, wearing regular-ass bummy Jeans, shorts. T-shirt, yep. I was always <clears> like, damn, what? I, I just never understood it. And it's interesting watching people.